Welcome to another time off quality fishing rigs instructional video. In this video, we're going to go over the shock leader, why we use it, one of the knots that I like to connect the shock leader with. Uh, my name is Ward Schwatter. Let's get into it. A shock leader typically is a shot of line, 50 pound test or heavier, that attaches to your running line. And generally, it's going to go three to five laps around the spool. Take some more rotations off. Around the spool. And then all the way through every guide on your fishing rod. And then however long of a dropper you like when you make your cast. And essentially what we're doing when we set that up is this 50 pound test line being wrapped around the spool is going to absorb the, the, the centrifugal force, the weight of that 8 ounce sinker as you're making your cast it will not have a tendency to crack off nearly as easily. It's a safety issue. Uh, so you can hit you can hit the cast as hard as you want to without having to worry about that weight breaking off of your 17 or 20 pound test running line. Another great thing about a shock leader is when you're fighting a really, really big fish and you've got them close, close to you on the beach on the sand, you can wrap this shock leader, you can reel your shock leader back under your spool, you know, seven or eight good laps, put your thumb down, grip that spool and now you're dragging that fish up onto the sand with 50 pound test line instead of 17 or 20 pound test line and if you're not comfortable doing that you can always just grab the shock leader and now you're dragging it by hand but either way that's two really really good reasons to get into shock leaders i highly recommend using them i am never throwing heavy lead without the use of a shock leader it's a safety issue i don't want leads cracking off they're expensive uh, lead traveling past terminal velocity will certainly certainly hurt someone god forbid if it hits them so let's discuss one of my favorite knots for tying the shock leader. And there, again, just like snail and a hook, there are a lot of really good knots. Some people use twin knot connections, double uni knots. There's, there's a lot of different stuff. And again, I am not saying this is the best. I'm sure there are knots that are stronger out there. But I love this one because I can tie it, especially at night when I'm tired or when the bite's on and the adrenaline's pumping. Uh, you know, the knot that's the best is one that you can tie when you need to tie it. I'll take a well-tied knot um, that may not be as strong over a knot that is tied uh, incorrectly, but it is a strong knot per se. So anyway, we're going to pretend that this yellow line is the shock leader and the red line is our running line. This yellow line, you're going to want to bend it in half and this will be our tag end. This will be our, our running line in. So you bend this in half, the knot we're going to tie is the Albright. And with the Albright, we come up through the bottom of the bend. And we're going to come behind it. Just like so. And now we're going to come back across and throw the coils. One. Two. Three. Four five, six, seven, and eight. Now, this is the part where it can get kind of hairy. When you come back down to tie this knot off, you're gonna go back down through, the, through that loop. So we're gonna drop it back down. But what's essential before you tighten it is making sure that this running line is under, is under your red tag. So when you cinch, it, it's going to lock and bind it all together. So it cinches down, you know, pull your tag, cinch it down, pull the tag, and there it is. That's the Albright knot with the binding lock, and that is a really, really low diameter knot. I like it because it will feed through the guides really, really well. The more you pull on it, the more it binds. Uh, I trust it a whole lot. I've put a lot of heat on that knot, and I've landed a lot of fish with it. It's a good low profile shock leader connection knot we really appreciate you checking us out today my name is ward trotter we certainly hope you get some time off really really soon get out there get to do some fishing practice your knots when the weather's bad when you can't get out there or you got a rainy day or you're behind the computer practice your knots so that you got them so that you can you can put them to work when you really really need them to my name is ward trotter have a wonderful day